Thank you. Hey, this is Steve Canarian, the paramedic student mentor. I wanted to take a minute and talk to you about diagnosing pulmonary edema versus pneumonia. Some paramedic students have trouble putting these two items together. When diagnosing the difference between pneumonia and pulmonary edema, it's important to get a good history of present illness, past medical history, and physical exam. The key things to look at are the onset, is a person becoming short of breath rapidly, or is a person staying at the same level of distress? Is there a cough? Is there a cough productive? And what color is the phlegm? Yellow or green phlegm would indicate an infection, and white blood tinged sputum could indicate pulmonary edema. Also do an assessment and take vital signs. In cases where you're not sure if it's pulmonary edema or pneumonia, trending helps. The idea of taking vital signs, treating with oxygen, a monitor, an IV, reassessing, and then again reassessing in the ambulance. It'll give you a clearer picture of what direction the patient is going in. It is real important to make sure you're treating left-sided heart failure before you give Lasix. Some EMS systems are taking Lasix out of the protocol because it's being given to people with pneumonia. Check their circulatory status, dehydration, skin turgor, and uh, question their potassium. If they're on, if they're on hypertensive medications that, that use potassium, see if they take their supplement. Ask yourself: Does this patient look dehydrated? Do they have postural hypotension? And look at the QRS. The QRS and hypokalemia and hyperkalemia will have some subtle changes to clue you in. Be careful when giving Lasix. The emphasis on treating pulmonary edema should be nitroglycerin, sublingual and uh, CPAP, and keeping the patient sitting up on oxygen and calm. Thank you.